Good day, lovely people. Welcome to Eleanor's Chronicles. My name is Eleanor. Please do hit the subscription button, the like button, and the notification button so that you're notified every time I upload some content. Good day, my lovely people. Today, I want us to deal with a very serious matter. Let's review a scene from Scandal. That is the rape of Jojo. For those who don't watch a uh, scandal, what happened is Mbali, being Jojo's wife, frustrated because she keeps on having miscarriages uh, when she and her husband are pregnant. She decided to drag her husband, and call her sister to come have sex with her husband dragged up. In essence, raping Jojo. And the sister got pregnant for them. Then they made a scenario where a Bali being the wife fakes being pregnant while Winnie, the sister, carries the real pregnancy, then come nine months, they made a plan of how a Bali is going to give birth to that her fake pregnancy. Okay, now today we are here. Jojo is raped. And uh, now he knows that he has been raped because now he has found out that uh, the daughter that she, he shares with his wife, he does not actually share with the wife, but share with the sister. So when, she interrog when he interrogates, how is it that I fathered a child with... Uh, my sister-in-law, if I know I never cheated uh, on my wife with my sister-in-law, then they are told that, he's told that, no, you did sleep with your sister. Um, I, as your wife, I dragged you so that my sister can come in and have sex with you so that she can get pregnant. Now, Jojo is devastated. Then I'm looking at comments online when people are like discussing it and people are, are like confused with no but Jojo Yatefa exactly Ukalelan Ukalelan in Dota Vela. I mean really it's not a biggie and nang a sin to vele ienzi wanjalo if umfazwako can get pregnant. Uh, we get umtuanagini, umtuanagabum fazi, so that she can come azo, azo smele tela la ekai. Kaso turi mija tatwa dirupi. Mwanagabum sadi, utata, atovele gela, mwanagab, mratwa kai. But then is it the same thing though? It's not the same thing, because if it was the same thing, then they would have called um, Jojo's family and Mbali's family. They would have sat down. The family would have agreed that, no, look here, we got a Makoti. Makoti seems can put to bed. So, as per traditional customs, let her sister come in and give us an A, but that's not what happened. Instead, the sisters decided on their own to go and rape Jojo. So, which brings us to real life. When men are, are facing serious issues such as rape, Are they taken seriously when they report the case and say, 
I was raped. I was violated. Do we as society understand where where they come from? Do we understand that rape is rape irrespective of whether you are a man or you are a woman? It remains rape. And the victim becomes devastated equally so. You can't lessen a man's pain simply because they are a man. Like, no, but then what type of a man does not want Uklalwa? But he did not ask Uklalwa, did he now? He did not consent to Uklalwa. You know, which reminds me, um, growing up, the old, there was this legend which I even researched a bit and found out that actually uh, the ladies really existed. Growing up, uh, there was this legend of these ladies. They used to call them the jack rollers. So the jack rollers, what they will do is they will kidnap men and they will go and uh, rape the men, run a train on a man. And these men, whenever they try to open cases with at the police station, then they will be laughed at. So this man ends up being traumatized and end up being violent, violating other women. Then these men will be blamed because. Why, why, why are you being violent and then it's going to be blamed on what happened to you? We know the journey of Nuglalwa, basically. So, we in Javini, because we in Javini, so stop making excuses. But then when we're looking at um, Ama cases, of rape victims, we find that same as these men, female rape victims also tend to have behavioral problems. Some turn into prostitutes, some molest little boys, some become alcoholics, some become withdrawn, some tend to self-harm, some let themselves go, some. Why is it that it becomes a different issue when the pain lies with a man? Where do men go to cry when they are violated, be it whether they are violated by a man or that they are violated by a woman. Even more so when they are violated by a woman. Because believe you me, it happens. Like I am saying that when I was growing up, there used to be a legend, the Jack Rollers, uh, which used to roam in the Pretoria area. And they are mostly uh, famous around Mamelodi, Soshanguve, Atrejville. Because apparently those are the areas they used to uh, kidnap men around. And um, there's also a few men that I know that, that they were raped by women and it was not sex. They are not happy. How, how, how do you expect them to, 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 to be okay. And same as Jojo in Scandal. None of the men prosecuted their cases. And even if they tried, they were laughed off. And they were humiliated every time they tried to open up and say, this hurts because I used to know one 
with this one it was humiliating because the woman will um hunt the men down uh at the pubs that the men used to um frequent and he will forcefully take him from those um uh, from those pubs he will she will forcefully take him and he will be kicking and screaming and people will just be laughing people will just be laughing and take it like uh his crazy girlfriend came to take him whereas that was she was never her girl, his girlfriend never not even once was um the lady the guy's girlfriend instead always what happened what used to happen was that whenever this lady just feels whatever it is that she's feeling she will just go out go hunt the poor guy down and drag him back to her place and that happened until the poor guy sadly killed himself because that was not the only person who was doing it to him there was also a man who used to just invite himself into his bed and i only knew that because when he was drunk i got to ask him why don't you dump this crazy woman because this woman is like embarrassing you every time when she's drunk when she's drunk or whatever does she get drunk and she was like no she's not drunk she's actually sober when she's doing these things and i was like then it means she's got a serious problem why don't you dump the fool and he was like because she's not my girlfriend and i was like but that is rape and he was like but then what can i do i tried every time but then every time he point she points at me with a gun who do i tell so what happens when men find themselves in such situations where do they go who do they talk to can they same as women have the freedom to speak up publicly if they choose without being ridiculed and it's not that women don't get ridiculed when when they report their own cases but then men get the most brunt when it comes to reporting cases of sexual violation which makes uh which brings us to 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 uh, my main question is jojo's refusal to prosecute really the reason that um he just wanna protect his child and the family name or is it that he knows he's going to be laughed at when he goes to the police station because um he does say that who's going to believe me that my own wife raped me because a policeman will just look at him and be like is it even a thing raped by your wife what does that even mean i mean they do it to wives who report being raped by their husbands 
How worse does it become for a husband who wants to report the wife? And even with us society, imagine if any wife comes out and say, my husband called his brother to come have sex with me. They drugged me and raped me. We will vilify that man. We will skin that man alive. But then when the husband comes out and says, my wife drugged me so that she and her sister can have sex with me. Do we give them the same support? Offer them the same counseling? The same shoulder to cry on? The same respect in the police station that the woman is accorded of having to be taken to the site without police calling each other to say, without being tending to a spectacle, where do men go?